What is the big stress mystery about? Have you ever wondered why stress and burnout phenomenon have been escalating non-stop, especially since 1997? The last six years I have researched empirically and dig deeply into why stress and burnout increase. In 2005 my first book was published about what I saw and still see even more clearly. I'm sorry the book is only in Danish. Something new will see the light soon in one way or the other, I sense. It all became much more serious in April 2002 when I was completely burned out. But to my surprise, from what? Since I did not feel stressed or was under any kind of pressure. I was working very creatively, living in a great place, and everything was just fine. Or was it? Being a Taurus, I was not satisfied with almost passing over, and therefore set on a quest to find the reasons and causes for this bad burnout experience. Today I am very grateful for it, since it made me understand what I have always known, but not on a conscious level with clarity. My method of research I call empirical science perception. I set on this quest to really know and understand what it was that brought me totally down. Since the connection through me is very clear, the method is a lot about asking questions and let the answers come when they are ready, and let thought do the thinking. It's all about attention and being aware, and then the doors fly open and the answers show up at the right time. Call it intuition, clarity or whatever. What stress really is? Stress is when the energy is off track, when your frequencies vibrate out of the now. The longer we are in a stress state, the more disconnected we become and thereby more unconscious. Consciousness, connection and harmony are of the now, when we are really present and aware. This is the main reason why many people today do not seem to understand even very obvious things, since the understanding comes from having a strong alignment with the now and thereby great clarity of mind. You feel alive, curious, wondering and want life to explore you in every way. When we are in the now we can access all knowledge and wisdom of the universe. The now is like a stargate to everything. This might sound a little mumbo jumbo to some, but it is not. Make the now your center. You are the now and therefore it's all about centering yourself to become the extension of the creative source of infinite consciousness, possibilities and love. You are love. So why not be it the very best way you can? Why be less than you are? Why say no to yourself and stress yourself to death? What is the point of being so stressed and burn out from stress? Is that the meaning of life? Did you come here to die or become ill from stress like almost anyone else on the planet? Have you ever wondered why most people seem to have the same life mission or purpose today? To work day and night, to make money, to be able to buy more things, they do not need to work more, etc., and to miss life more or less. Since it's difficult to hear life whispering to you when you are stressed and burning around being busy doing nothing really. In other words, stress is when you are out of your center and forget to listen to your inner voice always whispering and guiding you. All you have to do is to be silent at mind and remember to breathe in these stressful times. I know this has almost become impossible today and that most people are very hyperactive with constant thinking, etc. And this is exactly why I do this video to raise the awareness about the cause. It is very simple and it does not take huge studies from the National Health Board or Institute of whatever. It only takes two eyes and clarity of mind to think straight and think what no one else has thought. It takes empirical science perceptions which is always in the now. Everything is in the now, but most science is completely out of the now by definition. They set up three year research programs to examine things in the past. It seems so silly since it separates itself and creates more dualism and conflicts, and researchers and scientists fight about who is the most clever, etc. When it's all about creating results for the greater good and to solve real human challenges, which rarely happens. We have become more and more ill since 1997, especially.
science today shows that it's trapped in its own science box, since it more or less looks only at the bits here and there and forget the big picture. Science is mainly single-tracked or single-minded, some would say. We search for the truth in biochemistry, though the real foundations for life is found in biophysics. The duality is obvious in science all over. The truth is being suppressed since big money, big cancer, big pharma, big mobile, and thereby big lies control the universities and science institutions today. Not to forget big religion, of course, who is uh, the hidden hand, you could say, behind it all. Humanity is being misled by huge junk science, manufactured to satisfy greed, power and control. Most science has become a new religion, and thereby a neurosis. Two, not able to see how blind it really is, and ridiculing all who really understand and work from a true heart and sincerity, who work from sound ethics, morality and conscience. The pineal gland is the superior gland in the brain. It vibrates at 10 Hz being the frequency for our nerve and time center. The pineal gland is very sensitive towards electromagnetic influences. Imbalance in the pineal gland causes increase, increased mental activity which might lead to burnout syndrome. The pineal gland is extremely important if you wish to become your own master, to really be the one you are and set your infinite potential free. When we are stressed, we are out of the now, and we think more mechanical and become more or less prisoner of the mind with low quality thoughts and feelings. What takes us out of the now and what suppresses us in low quality mind and low energy? That's the question. We live in the electronic age, which obviously more precise has become an electronic cage, you can say, which disconnect us from the inner and outer nature. The information society has entrapped us as a mind control program. Why is stress exploding constantly? What is the cause? When I have talked to so-called stress experts and doctors, they have typically answered that they only treat people psychologically. My question is, how can you treat a problem on the psychological level when the real cause is something completely different that cannot be solved through psychological treatment? E-stress can be translated to electronic stress or electrostress. The latter was mentioned the first time in 1969. People are suffering big time from this invisible factor. Wireless communication stresses and manipulates the brainwave activity. We lose our ability to coherent thinking and we become distracted. It becomes more and more difficult to see the big picture and to stay present and aware in the now. People are experiencing extreme confusion and dizziness. They have become dependent of technologies that actually destroy and sabotage their optimum harmony and balance. The wireless technologies, including mobile phones, can also be called the silent weapons for a quiet war against the human psyche. The reason why the truth about the wireless technologies must not come forth is that the technologies are used for population and mind control purposes. The hub is in Alaska is part of this overall control agenda. I strongly recommend all to be extremely aware about these things and immediately take action to change their wireless lifestyle and also to strengthen and protect themselves with a human firewall. We protect our computer with a firewall, but what about the person using the computer? <laughs>